all right welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel if you're not caught up with my lock journey make sure that you hit that subscribe button and watch my previous videos so that you'll be updated on what's going on so today's video is a very very much needed lock detox and when i say much needed i literally mean much needed so as you can see here in this clip she is separating my hair and this is going to allow the detox to really get into your roots so what i really need to stop doing is um taking a lot of the edge control in gel because i really like to have those nice cute slick back styles on my hair like when my locks start to grow out a couple months i'm like okay i want to put it up and like slick it back but look at this do you see that Please do not put a lot of product into your hair because this is the results. My hair literally looks like sand right now. So she's going to get me right. I am at the It's Not Just Hair um, Lock Studio. I usually go to my loctician named Chelsea, but currently this week she's out of town. So I went to Miss Kyra and she's getting me right. So yeah, as you can see, she's taking apple cider vinegar, some baking soda, and yes, what you see in the back is some Dawn, some Dawn dish detergent. Um, I was shocked, but it actually works really, really good in your hair. Um, it's a great shampoo, well, to use as a shampoo. So, yeah, she's just laying me back here in the sink. And I'm so ready for this detox because I haven't had a detox on my hair since I've had my locks. Some of you guys know this is my second set of locks. And, um... I haven't had a detox so this is going to be interesting so yeah you take the baking soda basically and you just put it all over the roots um mostly the roots is where you want to get all the gunk the dirt the build up it's like even if you don't use a lot of product as far as like edge control and gel to slick back your hair like i do um, you still might have a lot of buildup in your locks just because the nature of locks. So if you've had locks for like at least a year, you might want to get a lock detox. Yeah, because a lot of dirt and gunk can get inside of your locks. Like even if you thoroughly wash them consistently and like you use shampoo and you condition them, you really want to get a lock detox because this is like a really deep yes. stripping routine to get inside the inside of your locks and pull everything that's inside of your locks like i'm talking about a deep clean when she washed my hair it was a completely different color like my hair looked like kind of brown but see look at that look at that water ew like we gotta get all that gunk up out of there so a lock detox is much needed um it depends on your hair depending on like the texture the thickness how many locks you have you just have to like listen to your hair and kind of go with when do you want to get a lock detox so yeah i might get one like every six months possibly i'm not sure i just have to see like how my hair is and everything but we're pretty much done with the lock detox now and as you can see look at these roots they are so clean oh my gosh like i was really excited in this cup like whoa like all of that gunk and build up i would not be using all of that edge control on my hair i'm going to find like a different method to um slick my hair back but if you do it's okay to use a lot of edge control or gel just make sure that you wash it out and here is the clip that she's using the dawn soap look how much it suds up like i was like are you sure you're gonna use like some dawn on my hair she was like yes yeah, like it works really really good so i suggest that you guys try it out um if you like a lot of suds and like to get really in there this soap is so good okay so i just got my lock detox and my hair is so so clean 
hair is soft now i'm sitting under the steamer getting like a steam treatment look at the length Oh, it's just floating there. <laughs> We're gonna fix it. We're gonna fix it. We're gonna it. repair. Look how pretty her locks are. <laughs> Thank you, girl. <laughs> it's me. We all live one. Wait, wait, what is that? That's it. We come in peace. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let me get my so as you can see in this clip my hair is all clean there is not a sight of any product or any buildup from the gel and it's been about four months since i've had my last retwist which you will see in my previous video can you just crop in the edit oh my god can you design this trick what is clean and that's it All right, so now we're moving on into the retwisting process. So is it just me or does anybody else love the process of getting their hair retwisted? Because it's so satisfying to see um, your roots getting retwisted. I love it. It's so satisfying. Oh, they're going to go on down. Your servant. This is and one that looked like it's breaking up, but we're going to combine that. Is it two? Yeah, but it don't need to be too. Look oh, at look at it. It's splitting, isn't it? It can be one. Because they can be just as big as this one. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make sure they're going to be the same size. All the dreads on your roots should come from here. It should be there. At least the right here. That's where they all should start, like that. Because a little bit of one right here, they're going to fall off. It's going to never have it. Like this right here. Yeah. Now he is an orphan. No, no, but oh, that's the best one. Small one. Oh. You couldn't possibly think that. That's one. Yep, that's one. So as you've heard in the previous clip, my hair needs saving really, really badly. Like I said, if you're not caught up with my lock journey and if you haven't seen my previous videos, watch those and you'll know kind of what's going on. So locks are splitting. The perimeter of my hair is like awful. The whole top front of my hair, I have some locks that are really, really weak. They're not as bad from my last appointment because she, um, Chelsea took care of most of those, but I had like a couple right here, as you can see that she's fixing and reattaching because I had a tight pineapple lock style on my nine month old instant locks and it caused huge, huge damage. Look at this clip right here. The whole perimeter of my hair, the top front, and nothing in the back is ruined because the tight pineapple style that I got, it was in the front. It was like on top of my head. I'll insert some clips. But basically, I had some locks that were taken, pulled up tight, and wrapped around itself while my locks weren't mature. So with them being only nine months old and instant locks, that tight tension caused my locks to literally split in the middle and break off. So she's having to reattach those and fix the ones that are really, really weak. Before, I didn't have this problem, but my locks now, they are getting to be a little bit better, but they're struggling. <laughs> they're struggling. This video was recorded um, March of 2023, so it's a little bit like way behind, but currently as of right now, it's September 
and I'm not really having those problems anymore. So thank God that that's fixed. She reattached them and um, they're just like locking among themselves and getting stronger. So I've only had one to fall out since like the whole thing. Um, this was March. I got a retwist in July, which was two months ago from like now because it's September. And um yeah only one fell out so it's been a whole year since i've had that tight pineapple style it was august of 2022 and august of 2023 would be the year so my hair took some huge damage like the whole perimeter of my hair was struggling but we're getting it like do not get any tight styles please it is not good So yeah, like I mentioned, this video was recorded March of 2023 and it's currently September. But um, in this video, that would make my locks around a year and five months old. So my two year lock anniversary will be October of 2023 and I'm so excited. In this video, I was really able to tell my growth. Like, look at this length. Oh my God, every time she retwists it, I'm like, whoa. But that's also because it's been four months. Um, I kind of like to stretch my retwist. I really don't like to go four months, but um, I was still in college at the time. So I came home from spring break and that's when I was able to get my hair retwisted. I typically like to go and get my retwist like every three months. Two is mm, kind of iffy to me, but three months is like the really sweet spot for me. This was four months of new growth. So I do have a lot of new growth and on top of like the damage. So, as you can see, this clip is where you can see the damage from the pineapple hairstyle. The top part of my hair, look, there's literally not a lock there. Like, I was so sad. I'm like, oh my God, like, please fix this because this is the top of my head. This is the front, like, uh-uh, like, mm-mm. So, yeah, she's going to get me right. She's reattaching my locks that I had. I didn't get any type of extensions or fake hair she's literally just reattaching my locks one of my locks um I did have to get like a baby lock retwisted at the front of my hair and it just grew out so I'll be doing a update on what that one looks like but other than that she's literally just taking my locks that fell out and reattaching them but that little piece right there that is really where most of the damage was like on my edges in the front just completely taking your hair pulling it back and wrapping it around into a tight pineapple style like i'm so terrified of getting any type of pineapple styles in the future because this is really really traumatizing like uh, i'm probably gonna get a pineapple style but my locks need to be like three and a half maybe four years old because i really really want to make sure that my locks are very strong and completely locked because my locks weren't even in the teenage phase of locking like they were literally still soft and fluffy and they were budding but it really might just be my hair texture because my hair is very very soft but yeah here we are with the middle of my hair. I have a middle part and she's literally about to get it all crisp and clean. Like I love a clean middle part going straight down the middle, but um, I'm not going to get it for this one. I'm just going to get a loose up half up half down style but see how crisp she get in my um part yes yeah, like that's how you want to do it and make sure you like measure down to the nose <laughs> but yeah so yeah in my previous lock video the reattachment that was four months after the pineapple incident so i think in that video i had around eight 
to nine locks that completely fell out so this retwist wasn't as bad um i only had like one probably that fell out but other than that they mostly were just thinning out um at the roots like where they were reattached because of the tension so Kyra she made sure to go in and strengthen the roots and just like reattach them because if you seen the clip earlier how it was literally hanging on th by a thread that's what I'm talking about I've only had like some that were like really really struggling so so if you can see right here, see how that piece, it's not attached to the root anymore because it was strained from the tight pineapple style. But that's nothing that, you know, instant locks can't fix and like reattaching. So she's going to go ahead and twist it here and she's going to take the crochet needle and like take the loose hair and like put it back inside of the lock. But good thing, like my roots are still really strong, like nothing happened into my roots it was just the middle of my locks that were strained and pulled loose so look as you can see in this clip after she took the loose hair she twisted it around and now she's taking the crochet needle and she's stabbing and poking the parts that need to be re-strengthened so good thing about having locks is if they do fall out yes you can reattach them all right so we're getting to a point to where she's almost done she only has about two to three left to retwist at the front and i'm really really excited because this hairstyle is going to be super cute i wore this on my um spring break trip and we went down to like coco beach florida area but yeah as you can see in this clip these are the last two she's just going to retwist those and slick them up and when i tell you they are doing a lot better than the previous um retwist because those in the front they were literally like non-existent so i'm glad that those held on um you can see that they're looking a little stronger than the other video so i'm glad but you can see right there where it's like a lot of loose hair but that's going to be fixed by just retwisting it in and we are done yay oh my gosh look at the length so she's just going to give me a half up half down style and i am not getting a top pineapple style this is pretty much how the pineapple style was done it was pulled to the top of my head but instead of using a hair tie or a hair scrunchie you would take your actual locks and use those as like the hair tie so you will take like multiple locks and then wrap them around the ponytail and use your locks to secure it as if it was like a ponytail holder so that's what messed me up so we're not gonna do that this time the only thing that i want is like a simple half up half down style and probably two strand twist in the front of my head so she's just pulling my locks up making sure that the roots are retwisted and she's going to take the loose ponytail holder and just put it around my hair and oh my god like when my hair goes into a ponytail now it doesn't just stick up like it used to so that's how i know in this clip like my locks were growing like you just gotta be patient with your lock journey trust the process the length will come mostly just focus on making sure your hair is moisturized like moisture is the key to healthy locks and just growing and loving your lock journey like you want to make sure water is the number one ingredient but yeah here's the clip she's taking the ponytail holder and it doesn't have any metal pieces and it's not like those really tight ones it's just like a loose rubber um type of stretchy one 
and I wanted these two strand twists in the front but I think she took three pieces to um, make it look a little bit thicker so she's just going to twist those up and I'm going to wear those down like over my eyebrows and it was a really really cute style I like it I may get this again but right now I'm really just on a like no hairstyle type of journey um the last retwist I got after this one because this was March I got one in July and I literally just got my hair retwisted and wore straight down because I want to chill on getting hairstyles and really just let my hair do its own thing and just like relax because that whole pineapple incident that was a lot and like I said it really could just be my hair texture because my hair is very very soft like even before I got my locks the texture of my hair is like a fluffy pillow like it's so soft and super curly so that pineapple style on my very soft hair was a big no like uh-uh but yeah this is how the hairstyle is coming out all she has to do is twist the other side and we're good to go oh my god this is so cute i love it yeah um if you're wondering what that is in my hair i do got a little bit of grays in there so that's what that is but yeah she's just retwisting and she secured the ends with the rubber band just to secure everything off and to make sure that they don't come loose and i'm loving it so i'm just like fluffing it up because i want a little bit of volume in the ponytail and it's so so cute oh my god y'all look at this lead oh my god i'm a year and five months in this clip my locks grew super super fast she's just slicking back my edges and putting some foam um foam She's going to put me under the dryer and we're going to be good to go. Make sure that you put like oil on your scalp every time you get a fresh retwist and everything like that. But yeah, oh my gosh, this is super, super cute. Um, I'm loving it. And this is the final results of the hairstyle and the retwist. It's super, super cute. Half up, half down with two strand twist bangs in the front. This is a clip of me on spring break. We were getting ready to go to Universal Studios that day. And this was my cute little outfit and my little ribbon bow. I just put it over the black scrunchy hair tie that um, she put into my hair. So that's still there. I didn't take it out I just put the ribbon on top of it and this is my hair loving the length like we had shoulder length and here's a closer view of the hairstyle once it was all done super super cute but yeah if you've enjoyed this video make sure that you like comment share subscribe follow me on all of my social medias and watch my previous lock videos so that you'll be caught up more lock videos will be coming soon updated on my current lock journey and how my hair is doing now so i'll see you in my next one